today I'm bringing you 5 most useful shortcuts in Premiere. Let's jump right in. The first shortcut you should most definitely use is the combination of the I and O keys on your keyboard. They stand for in and out points respectively. If you're scrubbing through a video in the source monitor, instead of dragging the whole video clip to your timeline, simply set your in and out points and drag only a section. This works even if the video is currently playing. Another use for these keys is in the timeline itself. If you'd like to export just a fraction of your timeline, you can also set in and out points and render just that part of the video. Once you're done, quickly clear the in and out points by pressing Ctrl, Shift and X on your keyboard. The next set of hotkeys you should definitely get the custom of using is the go to next and previous edit by pressing down and up arrows on your keyboard. Another good thing to do might be to change these hotkeys to the keys on the left part of your keyboard so that you never have to lift your right hand off your mouse. The same goes for the previous set of hotkeys. I've set mine to the letters E and R. This shortcut will scrub only the arm tracks. If you'd like to scrub every track, either arm them or press shift in the combination with your shortcut. The next set of hotkeys I consistently use is the ripple trim next and previous edit to playhead. By default these are set on the W and Q keys respectively, but I've changed mine and set them on the F and D so that they are right below my go to next and previous edit point keys. You also need to make sure that the tracks are armed if you plan to use the shortcut. The next set of hotkeys are the most basic ones, but I've noticed a lot of people don't use them. These are the select tool and razor tool hotkeys. The select tool is on the letter V and the razor tool is on the letter C. The last set of hotkeys is the one I use the most. People usually tend to zoom in and out of the timeline by sliding the slider on the bottom there's also a way to zoom in and out of the timeline by holding ALT on your keyboard and scrolling in and out with your mouse wheel. The shortcut I recommend for this is the zoom in and out of the playhead. I've set mine to Z and SHIFT Z again to keep my left hand on the left side of the keyboard. These are my 5 most useful hotkeys in Premiere. Thanks for watching and goodbye!